Gabe DeVoe. Good to see DeVoe out there. He went down early in the second half with what looked like a very painful knee injury, but returned to play a little bit in that game. And he's back out there starting tonight. In the first bucket of the game delivered inside. Now just checked in and off the window. The Illinois transfer makes it a 4 nothing game. Grantham found a way to find Donnell via the backboard. Innovative play there from Dante Grantham. But the Oakland transfer is first three in a North Carolina A&T uniform. And North Carolina A&T going with a zone here, Kelly, as DeVoe tries to shoot over it. He knocks down the trade. Showing the ball handling skills. Donnell can hit it from the outside. He was 9 of 18 last season at Michigan. Drive inside. Grantham and one. Too many long jumpers last year. He's 6'8". He's so long. He has to attack the basket more, and that's what he did right there. Got quite a few to the night. I think so. A couple of free throws by the good-looking player, Lozerby, and it's back to a five-point game, and then it changes as DeVoe hits another three, this one from the corner. A good free-throw shooter, Shelton Mitchell, knocks down two out of two. Biggest lead so far for the Tigers as it swells to ten. Inside, Boykins with a runner over Mitchell. Just three times all year and had only one victory against the Division I team, and that came late in the year against their arch rival, North Carolina Central, which is a very good ball club. There's DeVoe. And they're going to be pressuring him outside that arc, and he'll have more of a chance to attack. Not the quickest guy laterally, but he can attack when you give it to him. Kaji from downtown. He's also is one of those on the team, doesn't have his name uh, on the back of his jersey like some of his teammates. Feed to Malik Gans, who drives inside and athletically puts it up and in. First, and even things up in the team category at three apiece. Here's Gans attacking the basket. It's just on football last season. He scored a school record 25 touchdowns for the Aggies. He has one year of eligibility left and using it this year on the basketball court. Yeah, so a couple of years away from basketball. And again, we told you when he was at Michigan, he was 9 out of 18 last year in three-pointers. Battling inside, keys the rebound. Out on the wing, Boykins, and he hits the tray. And I've known AJ since he was, I believe, eighth grade. And I'm telling you, that kid could shoot then. And he can still shoot now. A shooter, but he's also 6'6", long, and athletic. Back out there for Clemson. As the Tigers see the Aggies creep closer. In fact, three of the starting five back out there, including Reed, who's up by Larte. Won't go down. Or I should say Jafet Kaje, who just checked in. Now here's Mitchell, corner, Grantham. Got it. Amari Hamilton, one of the guys who endured that rough season last year with a nice feed and a nice finish. Totals in that category, that's rebound number five in the first half. Donnell backing in the Michigan transfer. No, but Grantham right there for the grab and the put in. Clemson going to slow it up here a bit. It's been very much a back and forth affair. Clemson hasn't been able to run too many half court sets. And that time, a and gets in the passing line. And Keyes throws it down emphatically. Grantham feeding Thomas. A little spin move. Defended well, but scored better by Eli Thomas. It's an ability to really help out. Finds Mitchell on the wing. Ooh, halfway down. No, but DeVoe making like a big man inside with a putback. Build on the working margin. Clemson on a 13-4 run. From downtown, that one's going to go, and a big one for the Aggies for Dante Watson. Go down for Kaji, and here come the Tigers. Clemson did a great job of defensive rebounding. a and has one offensive board the whole day. What a finish by Sims. What a find by his fellow big Eli Thomas. Just at appearance, you think that guy's a chance to play in the NBA. I think he will down the stretch. Kaji feeding in the lane, and wow, nice play by Alujabi for the Aggies. DeVoe, Sims takes that feed any day of the week. Nice find by Gabe DeVoe. It's playing above his uh, his grade level, if you will, in terms of experience. There's a Lujabi inside as you saw the turnover situation. DeVoe running things out high. Thomas spinning in on a Lujabi and puts it up and in. Well, knee issue, but he did return. And has shown no ill effects of that today. Couldn't get it, but off the rebound. Thomas finding Grantham inside. And Dante Grantham, first bucket of the second half. Kaji from downtown. And the lid remains on for a and Reed underneath Thomas with a flush. Gets rewarded with a big dunk there. Well, Jay Joyner, the head coach of a and might call a timeout and said, Boykins drains a big three. A little give and go with Mitchell. Shelton recovers. Reed thought about it. 
feet underneath. Grantham with a thunderous throwdown. Get the ball back for a and Oh, and once again, Mitchell able to take it away this time by himself and throwing it home. Of the afternoon, 18 points. Chance to add to that. Grantham inside, and Thomas count it. And he's fouled. It was the sub at, uh, that came in with 322 left in the game that kind of spurred the 12-0 run that the Fighting Irish went on to defeat UCLA. I'm not sure which one is more impressive. So a mini reunion right here. If nothing else, with Tim as your classmate, you know that your life stats will always be on a quick file. Nice little steal, nice little finish on the other end. 17-point deficit. Tigers have been up by 21. Their biggest advantage, there's Reed out front. Now up to seven points. He's made good use of his three shots. He's been good from the free throw line. Seven points on three shots is pretty darn good. Good work inside. The 6'3", Malik Gams able to score down low. Ben Boykins, the former Shelby High Lion, defending. Or the former East Rutherford Cavalier, rather, defending DeVoe, the former Shelby High Lion. You have Grantham playing the four, then Thomas will get Scara back in a couple of games. A lot of guys to use down there. Ujabi on Donnell. And... They were one of the better free throw shooting teams in school history last year. And looks like they're continuing that trend today. 11 of 14 on the day is pretty good. It's making more than a and has attempted. A little fake in the backcourt by Grantham. And the Tigers will set it up front court. Donnell inside. And he finishes. Just missed him barely there. Good idea, but almost disaster from DeVoe's feed to Sims. Donnell, no. DeVoe once and then twice with the roll. He's listed as 6'3". He'd probably tell you it's 6'4", and he's now got 13 points in the game to lead the Tigers. There's one from the corner that's going to go. a and is going to keep shooting them from outside the arc. They've already attempted 23s. I'd imagine they end near the 30 mark at the end of this game. Nice find, nice finish. Mitchell to Donnell. Comes down to Donnell. DeVoe underneath and a gentle finish by the freshman Amir Sim. Especially when the guard took that ball to top of the key. Boykins over Sims and wow, Devontae Boykins at 6'3", able to knock it down over the 6'7", very long Sim. Get it back to that and they've got an infusion of talent that gives them confidence they can maybe as early as this year. A proud program with lots of tradition and that's why I was surprised that Clemson had never played a &T. We've seen the Tigers play Hampton and Norfolk State over the years, among others, out of that league, but never North Carolina A&T until today. What a finish by Marquis Reed. Available. If you ever have a chance to go to a, a Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference or a Southern Conference tourney, they're great to watch as Grantham finishes in transition. 39% in the opening half, but they're off that number here in half number two. They're now down to 35% in this half. We talked about that. We can get A&T into the 35 or under percentage point. Over the team scoring lead, 17 points. Roller GB leads everybody so far in the game. He's got 18 for Spencer. Kicking it to Oliver. Here's Thomas. Strong move inside on Roller GB and able to get it to go. Inside pushed his way into better position, and Thomas gets two more. He's now in double figures, 13 points. Or he wasn't double figures, but now up to 13 points for Thomas. Double figure scoring day for him. Four out of seven beyond the arc, 14 points. Trap on the runner that time, and he avoids the contact and gets the bucket. But rarely saw the floor last year with an injury, and then Donnell, of course, the graduate team. And on the run out, it's Langley, coached by an Ohio alum and former coach Larry Hunter. And now Brad Brownell, after going against Hunter, will go against Hunter's alma mater and former employer. On Thursday afternoon, Malik William finishing inside. Under a minute to play. Gabriel Johnson, big fella, just checks in and just going to dribble it out. And the final seconds will tick off, and Clemson will get another win against an MEAC school. And their first in the first ever meeting with the North Carolina A&T Aggies.